Ahead of tonight's debate, we're also taking a look at the impact of redistricting on this race. I spoke with both of the candidates about how they think it will impact their chances of winning. Virginia's second congressional district now includes the Eastern Shore, Virginia Beach, parts of Chesapeake, Suffolk, Isle of Wight County, and parts of Southampton County, along with the city of Franklin. Gone are the peninsula and parts of Norfolk, which election experts say makes the district more red. Redistricting happens every 10 years when congressional districts are redrawn to account for population shifts noted in the census. The district has become, if you want to think about it, much more Republican um, by about, you know, two two, three points, right, um, which effectively can signal a change in a close election contest. Dr. Ben Molusky is a political science professor at Old Dominion University who says the redistricting could help Republicans. Elaine Loria's district, uh, post redistricting, has moved her into a tenuous position. So what does incumbent Democrat Elaine Luria now think about her chances of re-election? I think that we can show a track record of having delivered uh, for the Hampton Roads community over the last four years and uh, especially for some of those new areas that are rural in the district. Luria lives in Norfolk which was once in the district but is now outside of it. There's not a legal requirement for you to live in the second district but would you plan to move to the second district or do you plan to stay in Norfolk? Um, I'll see what happens on November 8th. Um, but, um, you know, I've been a member of this community, the broader Hampton Roads community, for about 20 years now. The people that Meanwhile, Republican challenger yeah, State Senator here. Jen Kiggins, who lives in Virginia Beach, says she feels the new boundaries help her, but isn't taking anything for granted. More Republican, more conservative, a little more rural, uh, and then it's been, you know, a task to educate that new part of the district that, hey, you guys are, are in a new district now and, and you can't elect a Republican this year and we need you to come out and vote. Despite redistricting, many election experts still consider the race a toss up and one pivotal to determining which party is in control of Congress. So we'll see just how much the new lines impact the race. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.